Morning guys, uh, one day to go until our nationals are going to start and yeah, also one day prior I want to uh, get on court, make a short on court session, make a little bit explosive strength training, um, nothing hard but yeah, something to, to stay in touch with the racket and the shuttle and get in shape for tomorrow. We're going to drive later to Bielefeld where the nationals take place so uh, yeah, now time to get a little bit moving in the morning and then getting ready for a long drive. So, finished the last session before the tournament and there are also many players that prefer to rest the day before the tournament but I yeah, like to do a, a few fast uh, things also that explosive exercises with the strength training I just showed you. Um, yeah, and I have a quite good feeling now, legs are ready, now uh, packing the bags, getting ready for the drive and then taking off to Bielefeld. So the tournament has started, day one has arrived of our national championships and since I'm not playing any international tournaments anymore this is definitely my uh, highlight of the year. And the best players from Germany are competing, there's only one exception, uh, Isabel Lohau, the bronze medalist in uh, mixed doubles, she uh, with, has withdrawn from the tournament. But yeah, there are also other top players like Mark Lamsfuss, Marvin Seidel for example, they are around top 10 in the world. So this will be a whole different level than uh, the last vlog I was talking about. And uh, a lot tougher matches. I'm competing in singles and men's doubles and today we're going to start with the uh, mixed doubles and singles. So um, if everything goes perfect, I have two singles today, first round and second round. Um, I'm up in around one hour, so time for me to get a little bit going, get started. And yeah, then I hope for a good start here for my nationals in Bielefeld. So I had a good start into the tournament, winning my first single in straight games and I think uh, it's always a bit tricky here to get started in that hall because shuttles usually are pretty slow, the hall is quite big so there's a lot of space behind the court and um, yeah, a bit tricky to find the right length so my focus or goal was in the beginning to yeah, play some rallies, also be okay when the opponent hits a few winners 
and yeah, but then being ready to speed up the game if necessary, and also knowing that um, yeah, the opponent would most likely also make more mistakes um, later during the game, and that's also how it went. I was, I think, I was down at 11 in the first, but then uh, yeah, got some good consistency, played some longer rallies that really, uh, I think, costed him a lot of energy, and yeah, so I was able to to win it um, quite confidently in the second game. Um, have a good feeling, especially in defense. So I think I definitely was the favorite in that uh, first match here. And I'm always yeah, a bit tricky to handle that situation, especially early in the tournament. But I've played here now many, many years and I had many matches where I didn't handle that situation so well. I think nowadays I'm, I'm quite confident that um, I just have to bring my basic game on court and that um, most of the times is enough. There are um, only the national players have the level to score point after point after point over two or three games. So yeah, I was confident and I was, I'm happy that I also could make it through that. Now uh, second round is coming up in around 45 minutes. Um, about to get ready and then hopefully a perfect ending for the second day. Okay, so also won the second match, through to the round of 16, finished for the day. I'm not 100% uh, happy with my match now because I think there were some really good rallies but also some really bad rallies or a couple of rallies in a row where it took me sometimes too long to uh, yeah, get back on track, minimize mistakes. It also felt uh, pretty hard sometimes where the, when the rallies got longer I felt like I don't have the, the speed or the power to keep pushing after a really long rally and then I was just a little bit yeah, following the speed and uh, yeah definitely my strong part is if I also go for points if I speed up and there I felt quite good with the attack especially with the full power attack. Uh, I was struggling a bit on my forehand side especially with the cross slices I hope I have a bit better touch tomorrow because I was working on that actually in the training and yeah but done for the day happy that I didn't drop a game and tomorrow I'm going to start at 9 o'clock with singles and then afterwards there are the doubles so most likely or hopefully more matches tomorrow than today. Um, I definitely need a good rest back to the hotel, uh, a long night of sleep and then yeah, back to action tomorrow. Good morning guys, I'm a bit in a hurry because I already play at 9 o'clock, so the first round in the morning and we start with singles, so the round of 16. Afterwards we directly go into the doubles, so it will be a pretty stressful morning. Um, yeah, my singles, this will be a tough one today. I'm seated 9.16 and my opponent is 5.8, so um, yeah, he's also training at the National Center. I think he is the favorite for that match, but I'm 100% yeah, ready to um, cause him as much trouble as possible. And, yeah, enjoyed playing yesterday. Like I said, I was not uh, totally happy, especially with my uh, consistency and there were a lot of ups and downs in my games. I definitely have to step it up now. But um, yeah, now 30 minutes, a really good warm up. I want to start uh, with 100%, maybe also um, score a few winners in the beginning to get him a little bit shaky. This is my, my main goal for the, for the match now. And then see what happens. Um, yeah, looking forward to day number two. And yeah, let's get ready. 
Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'm a cruise ship my way So you can go pick up Tryna stack bricks up Build what I want to make oh, I got a lot of shit to say So I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep, wonder if my body will decay Cause my message is so timeless So they put him on display Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty I have a sense of urgency A message for eternity For everyone internally I had some people burning me But now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with So super disappointed right now because I lost my singles and I definitely had my chances. I think the, the plan I had initially worked out pretty well. I uh, started out super fast and super good in the first few rallies, was also up I think 5-6 points. And he was also getting shaky because of that I think. But I yeah, just couldn't capitalize afterwards because I was not able to play enough rallies. I was making so many easy mistakes and yeah, in the end I was down 2017 in the second. Saved all three uh, game points. There was actually a point where I felt pretty good and confident and then I also had five game points myself afterwards until 25-24. But yeah, then once again I think three pretty easy mistakes, unnecessary mistakes. And yeah, yeah so I'm super disappointed that I didn't find a way to just get the shuttle over the net and in and gave him the chance to make more mistakes because uh, I have to check afterwards how many points were actually scored and how many rallies were decided by mistakes because I think the number is extreme and it was so much about just getting the shuttle in with good quality and that would have been enough I think to win that one so yeah super down right now that's a uh, very very painful loss actually but I don't have so much time to be sad because uh, doubles already started I have to play first round there with my partner and yeah now Time to get ready, legs are still okay, it was not that tough, no long intense rally, so at least I have uh, power for doubles and yeah, that's I think the big challenge now to turn it around mentally and get going, but yeah, that's how it is, let's see how far I can make it in the doubles category. Let's go! I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that pay. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all. Oh, and this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things So I also got the request to make some interviews for my vlog And uh, yeah, I take the time in between matches to 
um, get some top players and our uh, top player in women's singles is Yvonne Lee. She is a reigning champion, I think, four times. You won the last four yes. nationals. Yeah. So she's going for her fifth title. Um, cool. She is top seed. And I would be uh, interested in how you approach such a tournament where you are a huge favorite. Because I checked the world ranking. I think you are 28 at the moment. Oh, and shit. The next I dropped. <laughs> I dropped. <laughs> but the next German player is over 100 spots below you. So no pressure, but you have to win <laughs> this Thank tournament. You. How do you approach that? Mm. I think in the end it's like every other tournament that you try to think about um, from match to match. And then of course, I know I'm a huge favorite and I'm not denying it, but just concentrate on what you have to do. I know that normally my quality um, of shots and my speed is a little higher than my opponents. And if I just get this on the court, then it should be fine. Because I think the last few years always when I saw you here, you were really dominant. Like, I, I think many, many players also experience being a huge favorite. But then struggling to bring that pace, to bring the quality. Is it, has it always been like that for you when you were in the favorite role? Or do you, mm. what do you think made the difference in the I, last couple I, of years? I wouldn't say that. I'm always very dominant. I think I still have my ups and downs, but I think concentration is key. Um, of course, uh, there is a certain kind of pressure you have as being a favorite, but also you should be um, try to be self-confident because you are the favorite and there's a reason why you are the favorite. And then just, yeah play your own game and just get it through. Yeah. And do you set some like specific goals for these matches where you're a huge favorite? I think just concentration, get the speed up and don't take anything too lightly. That's the most important. All right, then best of luck. Thank you. And let's see if you take your fifth title. We're all expecting that, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to Antonia Schala. <laughs> I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe? So I was able to bounce back after the loss in singles and we won the first two doubles. So now we're also in the round of 16. Uh, yeah, had a little bit problem starting the first match, but then also a solid win in uh, straight games. And yeah, second one was really good. I also uh, feel very fresh with the legs. We, we moved around quite well, service situation was going good. And yeah, we need all that for the next one. This will be a tough one against two national players. They are seeded 3-4. Uh, so, yeah, let's fight for a spot in the quarterfinals for tomorrow and yeah, throw everything on court and against them that we have in the tank. So also exit in the round of 16 in men's doubles and yeah to be honest we had uh, no chance in our match uh, the other two guys they um, I think were better in every aspect of the game today and even uh, though they made a lot of service mistakes we had no chance especially when we serve we had a lot of pressure we didn't get into the rallies um, yeah but also, they also uh, handled everything really well they had a good attack they were very very good in the flat game and also like in the end, I think at 19-13 there was a was a rally where we also did pretty well, but um, yeah, they just always had an answer for everything. And yeah, sometimes it is like that. You have to accept that uh, other players are on a different level. I'm also disappointed that I didn't make it to the quarterfinals this year. 
and uh, yeah especially the singles from tomorrow morning uh, still hurting I think there were definitely some chances to stay in the tournament um, yeah to be honest I didn't handle the mental situation so well and I think uh, yeah there were so many things when I rewatched the match uh, that I have to take away from that and this is also something I want to offer I decided to start a patreon account uh, where I will also um, put on some match analysis for example um, give you some insights on how I see these matches on a semi-pro amateur level and maybe some things that you can also take out from it and besides that there you have the chance to support me and my channel and that would really mean a lot if you um, yeah, subscribe as a Patreon and also on my YouTube channel you uh, can sign up for a membership that will also offer you uh, access to these analyzers some different benefits so definitely check that out you will also find all the information in the description below and for upcoming videos I already asked on my Instagram channel and um, what are you interested in what insights on the tournament stage and there were a lot of questions about warm-up, about nutrition, so I will definitely um, focus on that in uh, the upcoming tournaments that I'm going to play. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I really hope you uh, tune in for the next one and then see you next time. Bye-bye.